Anterior Ischemic Optic Neuropathy, Treatment When ischemic damage occurs in the anterior portion of the optic nerve, usually due to interruption of the posterior ciliary artery circulation, this is classified as anterior ischemic optic neuropathy, ION. ION may be further categorized into two types, arteritic ION and non-arteritic ION. Arteritic ion is almost always secondary to a form of vasculitis called giant cell arteritis, while non-arteritic ion is secondary to small vessel pathologies. Although, nion is rare, only affecting 0.01% of the population, nion comprises approximately 95% of all ion cases and is the most common cause of acute optic neuropathy in people greater than 50 years of age. Due to the heightened risk of the fellow eye being affected, patients being evaluated for nion should promptly undergo complete blood count, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, and C-reactive protein diagnostic testing to rule out an or giant cell arteritis. Nion, related optic nerve damage, occurs in two ways. Firstly, Initial optic nerve ischemia and subsequent hypoxia causes axonal injury, evidenced by optic nerve edema. Secondly, this edema impairs the transportation of essential nutrients and neurotransmitters to retinal ganglion cells, thus damaging the retinal ganglion cell layer by means of oxidative stress, excitotoxicity, metabolic imbalances, mitochondrial failure, or apoptosis. Currently, there is no widely accepted cure for nion, but some medications and surgeries have been suggested, which act on the disc edema, blood vessels, thrombosis, or which may have a neuroprotective effect, stem active, and neurovision rehabilitation, like microcurrent stimulation, AC stim. A peak of visual dysfunction occurs roughly when disc edema resolves and is replaced by optic nerve pallor. A two-week therapeutic window was proposed for surgical decompression. Similarly, another study specified a two-week time frame for steroid treatment. Although, the exact therapeutic window is uncertain, it is reasonable to assume that earlier intervention may mitigate optic nerve and axonal injury.